Okay, let's talk stage direction. This is one of my favorite things to talk about because it just drives me nuts. Anytime I see an actor doing something really weird in a scene, like I'm going, why are they doing that? Most of the time I stop and I ask them, why are you skipping? Does the script say he skips? And more often than not, they're like, yeah. Stage direction, for the most part, is put in there for the reader to read so they can understand what's happening. Maybe we know that the scene's flirtatious, but the person reading it doesn't understand. So it's like, oh, this is not as serious when, you know, I hate you, right? That's the line. And so they say flirtatious. It really doesn't mean you have to flirt with the line, I hate you. It just means it's not, I hate you, right? Oh, I hate you. It can be lighthearted. Ignore stage direction. Now you won't. You think it's a secret way to book the job, to play the scene. The great actors ignore it. I'm telling you. Now, of course, if it's something that has to happen, she pulls out a gun, <laughs> he falls dead. That's different. But when it's a, a note of how to play the scene, even where you take a beat when you're speaking, right? It'll say beat. The beat might not be there, meaning a pause. So the pause might be somewhere else in the scene, but you put it there the same place everybody else who follows stage direction is going to do it. And let me tell you why I think it's one of the most important reasons to not follow stage direction. Look at that. I didn't get hit by a lightning bolt or anything from the writing gods. Don't you change those lines, but the stage direction you can ignore because it's right as often as it's wrong. So let's say it's right that you take a pause before you say, I hate you. Instead of finding that pause for yourself, instead of realizing like, it's really difficult for me to say this, I'm struggling with this, or I don't wanna hurt this person's feelings, but I don't know any other way for them to leave me alone. Whatever the reasoning is, whatever the character, the reason the character doesn't have that line ready, you haven't investigated and found for yourself because you know, oh, I take a pause here. So you're just taking a pause. You're not making it your own. And what if it just makes absolutely no sense for you to take a pause there? Why would I pause there? It's in the middle of a thought. It's in the middle of a, you can take a pause somewhere else. And guess what? If the director, casting director, whoever needs you to take a pause where it's said in the script, pause, you can do that and they'll ask you, they're usually not paying any attention to that. I've heard very well-known director turn to a casting person and said, why are all the actresses sitting on that line? And it said, she, she said, well, because it says she sits. And the director said, can't they think for themselves? You don't have to sit just because it says sit. Now you can, but find it for yourself. Why do you sit? So when the stage directions put in there, you just do it without thinking. And I can think of so many instances, including an actress I was working with once, and it was a scene with her dad, and she was supposed to be, it said, aloof. Made absolutely no sense to me at all. But it was a writer-director, and so this actress wanted to be aloof. And I said, why? <laughs> I don't see any reason to be aloof with your dad here. I don't know who put this word in. Maybe the director did, but you can do it if they need it. Well, of course you didn't listen to me because you're going in and you're reading for the person who wrote it and you want to please them rather than please the character and yourself. So trying to please the director, she was aloof and the director said, oh no, you haven't seen your dad for so long and you're so happy to see him and be with him. No, 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 you need to, luckily she didn't point out, but you wrote aloof. She was doing the stage direction without first finding what was natural, believable, instinctual for her character. So ignore it, cross it out. It's not some secret way to play the scene. It's not, if a, if a word is underlined, 
You do not have to stress it. <laughs> Why does somebody stress a line? Because they think that somebody's not getting the point, right? So it might be stressing more than one word. The idea is the action. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Please ignore stage direction. Pause for effect and then say, like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you like this. We've got new videos every Tuesday. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.